Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to our continued campaign of Tinian with SGS Software's Pacific D-Day game. This is one of five scenarios in the game. If you missed our first episode, I'll put a link to it up in the top corner so you can pick up with the action before you jump into this one. But let's do a quick previously on the our invasion of Tinian. So this is the start of our second day now. On the first day, our troops here came ashore and our goal again, rough objective, is we have to take this entire island getting all the way down here, and we've got exactly one week to do it. So we're pressing against time, and we're also pressing against casualties. And if that really were the summary of our first day, I'd say we made progress, but we suffered significant casualties. If you recall, our 4th Marine Division is all ashore. We can look at them here. They're kind of in the middle of this airfield. Down here, we got some more, but if infantry in particular suffered some pretty significant casualties trying to take this airfield here, airfield number one and airfield number three, which are these two airfields in the north part of the island. We've almost captured them, but I don't think, if I think if we keep sustaining this number of casualties as we go forward, I don't think we're gonna make it through the campaign and win. Also, our second Marine Division is now ashore, but if we look at them, we'll notice we can see those gray boxes on the left side. If I click on them there, we can see it down below too. And we can see that most of the infantry units here are at, fi well, all of them are 50% or less. Most are only at 30 something percent with two of their six tick marks available for us. So they got beat up coming in and they must have got beat up in our little faint activity that happens off the map for some reason. The other half of the uh, fourth, second Marine Division here is pretty good. So our objectives for today, very simply, one is not to lose so many Marines as we did in the first day, but to see if we can finish off taking this airfield. And also you'll notice these little red chrysanthemum squares. These represent, I think, unknown Japanese forces. So we'll have to take this airfield and then we have to push the rest of these forces out. Then we want to sweep some Marines to the north part of the island. I think once we clear this, I'm not expecting too much resistance in the north part of the island, but and then I think once we clear that, hopefully we'll be able to push south pretty fast. And I mentioned I did play this up the series one be once before. The middle part of the island was lightly defended. It wasn't until we get back down here to the south we ran into significant opposition. But our other objective in this day is going to be seeing if we can get the second Marine Division back up to full strength. So with that being said, let's pick up the action. We're on a card draw. I think if I remember right, it's the Japanese phase. Yes, so that was, uh, we got reinforcements, good, we got some artillery, battleships, okay, that's all good and well. We could really use some fresh infantry here. Air and naval bombardment. Okay, so we want to bring our firepower, again, uh, we off here, we have off to the side, we have battleships, and our aircraft carrier provide, uh, provided air support. I'm going to allocate those to these targets inland here, and then we'll see what that looks like. So we've allocated our air support and our naval fire, and I did bring our aircraft in here to the air bases, over the air bases, and we did take some anti-aircraft fire here. So hopefully our aircraft are okay as they begin their attacks here. We might have lost a couple of airplanes there, but we'll have to make do. And air naval fire, again, kind of lining these same targets here. Now I'm going to figure out what we're going to do with our ground forces to see if we can take the rest of this airfield and start pushing the Japanese forces back into the jungles. So before we head into ground combat, we do get the results for that anti-aircraft fire. We got no hits there, but they did hit us once here, which is unfortunate. So that was kind of, I probably should have held back from that. Like losing our aircraft is pretty costly. So we're not off to the greatest start here. Now we're going to go into land movement and see how this works out. So spend some time sorting things out. We're able to bring the, bring the fresh contingent of the second Marine Division, which was on this southwest beach over here slide them up here and bring them into position to attack this infantry, Japanese infantry force just to the north of airfield number one. We sent the bulk of our forces here with our armor into this heavily defended position at the eastern end of airfield number one. Hopefully we can take that. Again, we have to get that by turn eight, otherwise it's an automatic loss. Now, we're looking pretty good, but I'm hopeful we can push them off rather effectively here because we need a really good day. We moved uh, our other contingent from the 4th Marine Division uh, off the airfield here and push them east. They ran into no opposition. I don't want to spread them out too much because I don't want them to get cut off. And I don't think it's really going to hinder the Japanese retreat at this point anyway. Then we scraped together what we could. We've got some, some of the 4th Marine infantry that aren't so badly beat up attacking this infantry position down here with some artillery support. And then we sent other elements of the 4th Marine Division and 2nd Marine Division south around the appropriately, the, the interestingly named Mount Maga, 
and we brought them down around the mountain here to start to push down through the uh, relatively what we think is going to be undefended central part of the island. But now it's time to see how these attacks go off. Let's get started. All right, we got four attacks. Which one do we want to execute first here? I think we will do the airfield one here on east. That's the biggest one. Let's do that first here. All right, attacker cards. Our percentage chance of success here is 62%. Let's do direct naval fire. I, I want to win this one. This one's a big one here. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Bombarding with air support first. Everything missed. Oh, hit something there. Good. Oh, we destroyed a bunker too. Nice. The artillery. Let's keep going. Artillery fire. Put some hits. Oh, what happened? Oh, our tank had to retreat. Oh, heavy fire. This is a tough position. Okay, we're going to go one more time with our infantry, although we're kind of badly outnumbered here. Plus one to one. Let's push forward one more time, then we'll retreat if we can't. I don't think we're going to take it this time. Ah, oh, we had to retreat. Let's pull that. Oh, now we've only got... Yeah, we're going to retreat. Let's get out of here. Units retreated from battle. We couldn't take it. Not a good start for us. That's heavily defended there. Let's go to the, the grid here to the north part of the island. Let's bombard with our aircraft. Missed. That's not good. Missed, missed. Hit. We got one hit. Oh, they hit us. Ah, oh, man. What is wrong with our Marines today? Oof, there we go. Pursuit. Japanese pursuit. All right, good. So we pushed them off. Let's keep going. Retreated from battle. Excellent. So we had some success there. We cannot pursue because we don't have armor. Let's go to grid 567. This is to the south part of the air base here. Not much of an attack force against some tough Japanese infantry. Let's keep going here. Come on, Marines. Battle starts. No retreat allowed. Aircraft bombs. Some hits, but we take some casualties here. We're going to push on. Oof. Retreat. Yes. They retreated from the battle. Good. And we cannot pursue there. This is just artillery fire on some Japanese positions. Nice, we hit a log bunker and blew it up with our naval ships. Okay, so big losses up here though. Our tanks and infantry, minus three, minus three. We knocked out the small bunker, took out two small bunkers, knocked out a log bunker here, but left that infantry unit in a relatively strong position. Ah, some stubborn Japanese here. All right, our aircraft got through unscathed, though that wasn't bad. Down here, we were able to pick up three victories down here. Wipe that, in, reduce that infantry unit, Japanese infantry unit by three. Suffered minor casualties and pushed forward. That one was probably good. Let's see what the battlefield looks like now after this. Air defense move. Okay, so we pushed the infantry north up here. We can see this up here. They still hold the eastern end of the air force, but I think we can bring this relatively strong contingent of fourth division Marines up from the south here to hit them there. It'd be nice if we could surround them, but I don't think that's going to happen. And otherwise, I think, yeah, we push these units back here. So we're starting to drive south. These units are retreating. This down here that we can see in the center of the screen must be the infantry that we pushed back here. But again, our infantry suffering some casualties here. And there was the um, rest in the rear card. Do we miss the opportunity to use that? Perhaps. Okay, let's go to our air defense. I'll get some uh, air units up over ours. I think the Japanese Air Forces, if this number here is anything, in the top left it says Japanese Air Force Zero. So they might not have any planes yet, but we'll put up some combat air patrol just in case. So we'll get that done, then we'll see what they do in their turn. All right, so we've got um, air units up over our forward positions there. U.S. and U.S. Navy Air Force Repair. Beginning turn five, and every five turns after that, U.S. Navy repairs one air unit to full strength. Excellent. Only units on the aircraft carriers in the region U.S. and carriers during the replacement phase can thus be repaired. Good. All right. So, rest in the rear. Oh, we want to play this card. One infantry regiment is roofed to the beach here and restored to full strength. The unit is mobilized for the next turn. That's fine. We're going to play that. And we want to get one. We had one down to one right here. This fourth division, this, you can see this one, it's down to one strength point out of six. That seems to be done. Full strength and it's moved to the beach. Excellent. Good. That was a helpful card. Yep, there it is. So it's on the beach here. 
back. So we're back on track. I couldn't quite figure out. That was asking us to move the unit back. So I had to click on the right beachhead. Once I got that sorted out, it worked out okay. Now we have one replacement factor. I think we want to replace these infantry marines. I want to fix this armor too, but we're going to wait a little bit. We need to get some infantry forces back up to strength. So we will get this infantry unit back up here. That was this one right there. The 25th Regiment, 1st Battalion. So that regiment is ready to go for their next turn. Let's continue on and go to the Japanese turn now. This is a basically a summary for them. Two victories and four defeats, nothing we don't know. Heavy rain, all land units, minus one movement point. US Navy aircraft grounded. Ah, uh, that's not good. All right, so our aircraft go back. So we don't have any air support this turn. All right, next phase. Reinforcements, they got some reinforcements. Are they pushing up to attack? Nope, they didn't. All right. So we got heavy rain. Forced march equals US victory points, uh, one or greater, one stack plus two movement points. Okay, well, we're doing okay. They picked up a victory point in that turn. We, it's now 13 to eight. Our lead is down to five here. We have really got to get the move on now. So let's, uh, that was our card draw phase. Reinforcements, we get naval firepower here. Now air and naval the bombardment, but it's heavy rain, so our air force is grounded. We're going to have to just recut, rely on our uh, naval firepower here. Let's get them uh, kind of sorted out here, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're basically uh, allocating most of our naval firepower on the eastern end of airfield number one, which we've got to take. This is a tough battle, but we, we really need to push them out. We've run into some Japanese armor down here in the middle of the island, which we can see. So put some naval firepower on that, and then a little bit more on this pillbox here. Maybe we can get lucky and take that out. So let's see if we get some results there. Land movement. Okay. Let's put the troops. In. Basically, we're just going to try to push these Japanese troops off this airfield with probably right here. We're gonna see patched together with what still can attack. So I'll get that sorted out and then we'll be right back. I think otherwise we're gonna to try to push these guys, continue to drive around. Maybe we can surround the airfield, that would be good. We have to deal with this armor down here too. Mm, lots of things to deal with, but we'll sort it out, be right back. All righty, no air support, let's see how this goes. Let, kind of a quick highlight what we did. Um, I pushed this, we have a battered armored unit up here that we I pushed from the airfield. Just pull it back because we can't afford to lose it, but I think it can help us cover kind of some of these uncontested areas. So I swung it through the jungle here to the northern tip of the island. We now gain control of the northern tip of the island. Was able to scrounge together some elements of the second marine division to come try to attack this infantry position. This is the ones we pushed back from this highlighted area just to the southwest. Then I've broken off some contingent, some uh, regiments from the Second Marine Division, and from the fourth that was here, basically the best best that we had, these two regiments right here, and then these three, an artillery and armor and infantry to attack the airfield. We're throwing everything we can at it. We've got to push them back. Also, I was able to bring this armored unit, infantry and some supply, as well as two an infantry unit and some more artillery, trying to pincer these from either side to see if we can hit this Japanese armor here. Without air support, I don't know how this is going. Otherwise, we've kind of moved infantry through some of these uncontested jungle areas. We're starting to gather, kind of take control of the area. Of course, this right here, this is the big battle on the airfield. Can we take the eastern end of the airfield? Let's see how this goes. Now, I think what we want to do first here, and this is kind of one thing I, I wish that, let me see, can we check it there? 616, okay. Yeah, let's hit this one first. So apparently you can click on it and that will make it sorted out there. Let's see if we can get this. Strong infantry in it. We do have some artillery, machine gun, mortars, and some Japanese infantry there. Let's see if we get anything good. We hit the infantry first. It's out, we outnumber them two to one, but hopefully with the artillery we can get them here. Oh, heavy casualties. Let's go one more time, then we'll retreat if it doesn't work out. Oh, that was good. We actually, we put some heavy hits on that Japanese third battalion. Let's do one more time. Let's see how this goes. If we can push the infantry out. Oh, victory, Japanese. Did we lose that infantry unit? We did. I think we lost it. Ah, probably should have retreated there. We've taken some tough casualties here. 570. Yeah, let's do this one next. The armored units down here. 5760. Attacker cards. We have a tactical withdrawal. No, we don't want to do that one. Let's go without. 
Japanese tanks I don't think are very strong, but our tanks are at 50%. They've got mortars, a machine gun. Tough defenders here. Artillery support. Hits the tanks. Excellent. Let's go. Let's get some wins here. Uh, infantry suffers casualties. We'll go... Ah, oh, this one's down to two strength points. Let's retreat. We're going to pull back. I, I, we can't afford to lose any more infantry here. Beach Yellow 1, where is that? Over here? Yeah, we'll just do that one. That's naval artillery fire. Let's see if we can hit anything. Fire! Victory, Japanese Empire. Missed everything. Darn it. Okay, now our big battle. Air Force, airfield number 1. The eastern end. We're not going to use engineers. We've depleted them. We hit them pretty hard here, though. I think we should be able to take it, right? Because this small bunker's down to 1. 25% strength. This small bunker's been down to 50% strength. And they have a small garrison here. An anti-aircraft. We're not going to play any cards. 90% chance of success here. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, they hit our tanks again. Why do they always hit our tanks? Missed, 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 missed. All right, good. We took the small bunker. Let's go. Ah, oh, perfect. Elimination. We wiped out the anti-aircraft units. Very good. Victory for us. And we can break through. Where do we want to go? I'd say let's push on right here and continue on. Let's fight. Attacker cards, 82% chance of success. We'll go without cards. Let's get our artillery going. We hit them already. Good. Let's go. Oh, that was good. Retreat. Perfect. Okay, that was that saved us to a certain degree there, I think. Uh, air unit repaired. Full strength. Okay. Good, I think. That's good. And replacements. I want to save our one replacement point for this armored unit here on Ushi Point, which is the northern tip of the island. So we will pass on allocating that now. Airfield damaged, airfield control towers captured, the landing strips of the airfield are rendered inoperable due to combat damage. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do to fix that, but is this in ours? No unit, yeah, destroyed tower in here. Airfield number three, no unit, okay. Fine. Okay, turn end. Another, I think, another Pyrrhic victory. Because we lost, I think it was here. Eliminations one. Really? Oh, that was, is that our naval pot? Yeah, look at that. We lost the 8th Regiment, 3rd Battalion. Oof. So these are battalion strength? Is that right? If we go 8th Regiment, 1st Battalion. So these are battalion strength. Okay. So we lost, the, destroyed during the Battle of Grid 16161. Ah, heavy marine casualties. Not good here. How about this one? What losses do we get here? Hit, hit, hit. Destroyed was the naval firepower, but that's that just means we used it up, so that's not such a big deal. All right. So five one. That was they, where they held. We retreated, and then naval firepower didn't do any damage there. All right. Tough to lose that infantry battalion. Airfield, two victory points. Excellent. So we got two victory points. All right. One, so what was that one? Japan gets one victory point per turn until we control all of region's airfield number two, which is down in the southwestern part of the island. Battle for Ushi Point. They're attacking our tank. No. Oh, I'm going to play this tactical withdrawal. Yep. We're getting out of here. Good. I don't want to lose that tank. Good. So that means we just retreated. Perfect. That was a good time, I think, for that card. I'll give up that ground, but I don't want to lose our armored units. That's fine. Casualties one is our casualty. Oh, destroyed. We couldn't put all our artillery out. We, I, I did so much better the first time I played. Now we're getting just beat up. Mortars for card. Reinforcements. Now the weather should be better this time. Unsupplied units. Oh, that's not good. Grid 6060. Why is it unsupplied? Well, we'll sort that out, I hope. Air and naval bombardment. Where is it and why is it unsupplied? It's right here. 6060. I'll, I'll figure that out in a moment. We'll allocate some. Is that the one there? Yeah, 6160. Okay, so it is unsupplied. So we got to get that back and supply. I don't quite know how that's unsupplied. I guess maybe the headquarters are just too far away to the southwest here. Okay. We can. Oh, the Japanese have pushed into the middle here. Oh my goodness, look at this. They cut right between our lines, and they're coming right up on our beachhead. This is a mess. Oh, my gosh. That's why we're cut off. Okay. 
We've got problems all over the place. We haven't taken the airfield. I thought we did take the airfield. Oh, we took the airfield, but they pushed back into it. Crafty Japanese. They've recaptured the airfield. And that's why we have 15 victory points. They have 12 now. Ah. Uh, okay. We've got to get this. Okay, we got some problems sort of. Basically, I'm going to allocate the air and naval bombardment. We're going to hit everything hard here. Okay, we got to clean this mess up. Don't panic. We can solve this. Okay. I'm going to put um, air firepower and naval firepower, then we'll, we'll go from there. All right. So basically, what I've done is I've tried to hit the airfield again because we've got to recapture that. Tried to hit these units that have pushed through this hole in our lines. Gosh, I can't believe we did that. That was bad. I'm going to put some air on these tanks down here. We didn't really have enough to except to drop a little bit of naval gunfire on these Japanese forces that have recaptured the point up here. So let's see how that goes. That's going to kind of work itself out. Now we're going to, we don't going to play any cards. Maybe we will play a card. Forced March. No, we're good. I'm not going to play the card. Now we've got to see if we can push these Japanese units back out. Get our tanks back in supply. Ah, and so what you can see happen here is they cut off the road, which basically means that our 4th Marine headquarters can't supply any of the Marines back up here. Now ah, we got problems all over the place. Okay, I'm going to see if I can figure it out. All right, here we go. Second day on Tinian, 27th of July now. Um, I've brought as much as I can bring to bear onto these uh, Japanese units that have infantry into, into the swamp here. We can only bring three units in there. So we brought one battalion, these tanks, and then some artillery in here. We do have a good bit of naval fire and some air support to try to wipe them out. I think the only place they can retreat to is this mountain. And I'm not sure if they can do that because it's controlled by us. Then we're bringing up as much as we can, again, to bring to bear on this infantry on the airfield. Again, we have to get this back. Not really paying much attention to this Japanese armor, which is unfortunate. We don't really have enough strength to deal with these Japanese forces up on the point. I've just tried to make a line around our beachhead, so we've kind of condensed in here. Which isn't what we want to be doing on this second day, so let's see how this goes. Battles. Ushi Point. Yeah, we'll bomb that first. That's when hopefully we get... Oh, there's a big infantry force up here. All right, so we hint that infantry. That created some casualties. Now we've got Air Force East. Let's... Grid, which one is this? This is the swamp battle. Let's do this one first. So grid 58-59. Really need a win here. 64% chance of a win. Mortars. Enemy units suffer one extra loss in this battle. Yeah, you know, we kind of need this one. Let's do it. Oh, three. Perfect. Mortars paying off here. Let's fire artillery. Air support. Nothing. We missed. Come on here. Let's go here. Two hit. Our infantry suffers some casualties. We've beat that unit down pretty well. Let's see if we can finish him off now. Yes! All right. Elimination. We wiped them out. We captured. We wiped out the mortars. Excellent. We wiped those units out and we can break through. Can we go here? Nope. Where can we go? Nowhere we want to go. We'll just stay there then. We'll pass. All right. 57. Yeah, this is some firing on the tanks. Let's just see what happens there. Nothing. Maybe we can get some damage on with our... Oh, we're getting our airplanes in here, too. Any luck? Nope. Missed. Naval firepower? Oh, nice! Our naval firepower blew up the tanks. Excellent. That solves that problem. Now, our big battle here on the Air Force. See, again, we're fighting for this air for the um, airfield here. We got a lot of forces here. They got one infantry unit. 85% chance of a win. Okay. And we hit him with our aircraft. Nice. It starts us off good here. And more firepower with artillery. Good. Let's just finish him off, guys. Victory. Wiped out. Excellent. That was a much better turn. Breakthrough as well. Do we want to break through anywhere? I hesitate to break through because if we do, we're going to leave a hole in our lines. But we could... I'm going to think about it for a second here. Yeah, I think we're going to do... We're going to have our armor... And this infantry battalion and this artillery battalion here push up into this spot here so they can get ready to take that point again. Good. That was good for us. Eliminations one. I think that was our naval firepower. Yep. No worries there. Eliminations one. Two victory points because we regained the airfield. Good. And, whoa, it suffered some pretty heavy casualties. 24th Regiment, 2nd Battalion of Marines taking it on the chin, but we extracted some good casualties there. Completely wiped out this 2nd uh, Battalion there. Good. And then down here, we, ah, oh, nice work. Naval firepower and aircraft blowing up the Japanese armor. That was good. And then our last one, those units that tried to get in through the swamp, 
Basically, we wiped them out. We didn't suffer any casualties. That was a promising turn for our Marines and Tinian here. Excellent. All right, our cra aircraft go back. I think... I don't... I haven't seen any Japanese air tracks. So we're not going to put up combat air patrol right now. I think it means that we have taken out their aircraft. They've only got... Yeah, zero left. So, all right, 19 to 12, us. But the Japanese are picking up, I think it's two on the left here, two victory points per turn until we capture this airfield down here. So we have to go on. Air defense move, we're done with that. Yep, we're not going to move any units. Uh, replacement, perfect. Two left, not that one. Where is our heavily damaged armored unit down? Here it is, right here. Fourth Division, First Battalion, A Company, Armor. Right there. Perfect. Back up to full strength. We've got another tank unit. Turn end. Turn six for the Japanese Empire. Good. Victories one they got. Casualties 11. That's excellent. What was this? This is coming into their turn. Yeah. Playing some kind of a mystery card. That's their card draw. Reinforcements. We've got mines. Okay, that's fine. It's United States. Turn playing seven. Anything happen? No, they just did a card. So... Let's naval fire controller. This is a good card. Artillery observers direct naval fire onto critical targets. All naval fire support units gain plus one combat bonus. That could be helpful. You might want to save that for the, the mountains down below. But let's see if they did anything crafty here since we were gone. No, it looks like these Japanese forces that were up on Ushi Point up here retreated to the southeast. We should be able to kind of isolate and wipe them out, I think. Then... They've got some troops up here in Mount Lasso. We'll have to take care of Ted. All right, kind of, we'll draw, draw a card. We've done with that. Got some naval firepower. And we'll assign this and get going. Looks like we're going to try to bomb this stuff. Now I think we can finally start pushing southward. But still a little bit of wood to chop on the northern tip of the island here. Let's allocate this firepower. Basically, we're, we're sending our... Uh, up here, we've got this unit that's caused us some problems here. We've got a lot of naval firepower. And our aircraft can send two squadrons up here to try to take that out. Then we're going to bomb the mines. That looks like these they set some mines up on Mount Lasso to kind of slow us down. I'm going to send some aircraft over the radio station here. And then we're going to drop some naval gunfire. Uh, we've kind of identified some units on this airfield, number four down here. So we're going to drop some naval gunfire, uh, gun power on there. So we'll do that. I don't think anything happens with that. Now we go to land movement. We can play a card. Forced march. No, we'll leave that for now. Okay, we'll uh, move our troops around and see where we end up. All right, we are back. We're pushing our forces, a lot of forces up here to try to take out these uh, Japanese units that are pinned up in the northeast part of the island. And we've pushed down through the central part of the island, making our way to airfield strip number two here behind my head. Let's move it out of the way. So right there. We've sent an armored contingent to the 4th Marine, some infantry. They're kind of beat up, but I'm hopeful they can push down here relatively quickly and get this airfield. I think we're going to send our replacements to them uh, to help shore up with that, to kind of get their force up to strength. We've got some infantry trying to take uh, Mount Lasso here, and we did run into a pillbox along the beachhead here. We've got some artillery and some infantry, some rather depleted infantry trying to take this one. And we've got other troops just kind of basically pushing south, and we did leave some Marines behind here. I think there is a chance there can be like infiltration units that just kind of appear behind your lines. So I want to kind of scatter some of our weaker units back here, and then we can get them up to strength if we need them to fight. So let's go on to the battle phase now. Lots of stuff. Let's do Mount Lasso first here and see how that goes. I think we want to do that. So I have no idea. 90% chance we're going to win. It's just mines, right? We're not going to spend any cards on that. So let's fight. Nope, we're not going to do that. All right, air support. Planes hit it. No, they missed. I guess it's hard for planes to hit mines. Oh, there we go. Nice. Perfect. That was good. It looks like our naval fire took them out. Let's see. Grid 6162. Yeah, let's do this one up here in the corner. Let's see if we can control the whole northern part of the island. 72% chance. Let's take our chances here. We, we've kind of depleted a lot of our cards here. Do that. Bombard first. Let's hit something. Nice. Good start. Aircraft reduce the, reduce the Japanese infantry by a third. Naval firepower, nothing. All right, let's go. Infantry attacking, machine gun. Infantry taken out. Our infantry got oh, hit pretty hard, but hopefully this tank can take them out. Good. We wiped out the mortars too. Victory. 
We've cleaned up the northern part of the island. We've got a breakthrough. Let's move everybody south. We want to get them pushing south as fast as we can. We will go here. Perfect. All right. Beach yellow one. Okay, this is attack on the pillbox. These aren't very strong. Let's Air Force. What's going on? Oh, this is a naval bombardment. Let's do that. That'll be fun. 41% chance we're going to win? I don't think so. No, I don't know why these keep showing up twice. Let's fire. Oh, nice. We hit a sandbag bunker. It took it out. Good. Depleted defenses a little bit. And then grid. Beach yellow one. Grid four and six. This is another one. Oh, to the south of it. Oh, there was a dummy unit, apparently. So it just goes away. So crafty Japanese making us waste some naval gunpowder. And let's go to beach yellow up here. 72% chance of success. We'll take it. A lot of artillery. Pillbox already depleted. That's the one I think our naval firepower hit. Perfect. Hit him and we blow up some of the mines. Looking pretty good here. It's a fight. No casualties. Ah, some of our marines got taken out by mines. But we did win. Good. No casualties. We picked up two victory points for what? What is that for? 6162. I don't know why we got victory points for that. We'll figure that out. Is that over here? Landing beach? I'm not sure. But, well, we'll take it. 21 to 13. We're up by 8. All right. Air defense move. I We haven't seen any Japanese planes. We're not going to worry about that right now. Yep. We'll just leave that there. Replacements. Okay. So, I want to make sure that we replenish. I think this is 5558. Five, it's down here. Yeah. That's where we want to replenish our attacking forces. Let's put our replacements right here on those Marines. Excellent. Good. So our vanguard here is getting the replacements. We've got a strong armored unit. If we can get that infantry up to strength, I think we're looking pretty good. Okay. Well, not good, but at least for this vanguard down here. But I'm, I'm worried still that our casualties have been too excessive. All right. So this is for the Japanese summary. Let's see what they do. They got a card. And it's to our turn. This will be our last turn in this episode. Let's uh, drive on again. We Japanese picked up a victory point. 21 to 40. I thought they get two victory points for that airfield, but close air support. Okay, we'll take that car. That looks good. And next phase, reinforcements. Just two elements of naval gun power, firepower. That doesn't help us. All right, so we will allocate our air and naval bombardment, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're going to drop some naval gunfire on airfield number two, some more naval gunfire down here on airfield number four, which I think is our next objective after that. And then uh, bringing in some aircraft here uh, onto this beachhead. I think we, we identified a pillbox here to the southeast on this other Asiga Bay place. And then we're going to drop some aircraft here to see if there's some Japanese units in there. I don't want to send our Air Force down here yet because I think there's probably going to be anti-aircraft fire and I'd like to preserve our aircraft strength while we can. So we'll put that there. Now it's time for our land movement. Let's push on. We're going to use this forced march card uh, to play it on this unit up, this stack of units up here, there, because um, we're going to give them a little bit of extra zip here because we're going to get them south as fast as we can. They're our strongest force that isn't um, uh, basically <laughs> pretty much depleted to 50% strength or less. All right, a productive turn, I think. There wasn't much resistance in the central part of the island here, as we can see. We're able to bring most of our forces from the north, leaving a few of these kind of depleted uh, battalions scattered around up here in the northern part of the island, but moving basically everybody that we can to the south here. The airfield number two was uncontested. We're able to move that vanguard unit of the 4th Marine Division, cut it down the road here, and then cut south southwest, and they spread out, fanned out over this area, and basically cleaned out the whole area here. There was no resistance. So... No battles, it looks like, coming up here. Even our aircraft, these zones were empty. We do have this pillbox that in the east that we couldn't reach. We'll have to try to take that in the next turn. But it's the 28th of July now, so things are moving forward. Still a lot of ground to cover, and we can see there's going to be a lot of resistance down here in the southern part of the island, for sure. But that results the end of our land movement. Beach yellow. Oh, so we have some forces here dropping some, uh, what is it, naval aircraft power here. Let's see if we can take them out. Any damage? We missed. Let's keep going. Hit the pillbox. Let's keep going. Keep going. Japanese victory empire, yeah. So we damaged it, but not much else. Then I think this is uh, naval firepower. 
All right. No, we're not gonna do that. We'll just let him go and fire. Nope. Fire. Oh, big hit on the infantry. That was good. So they get the victory, but it was basically just naval firepower there. So that was excellent. Air base return. Our aircraft go back. 28th of July, has, uh, the, the, the warfare gods have shined on us a little bit. Air defense move, we are not going to do that. I don't think there's any aircraft left. Now, down here on Air Force, airfield number two, I just got to figure out where we want to give it our replacements. Okay. We are going to re uh, supply here the 25th Regiment, 3rd Battalion. They are over here on this eastern part because we're going to have to attack this pillbox. And I think we, they're at two and three. So this puts them up to full strength of five, which I think will help us on this attack. I wanted to do this. Inf no, they're full strength. One of these infantry uh, battalions as well. But I think we're going to have a t uh, one more turn as we sweep and kind of clean up these areas before we get to the city and air four, airfield number four. And then we're going to be ready to take these mountains. But the end of turn eight here, Japanese Empire. Victories for us, victories for them. That was our air forces, no big deal. Airfield, four victory points. Japanese gets one victory point per turn until we control all of airfield number four. Tokyo Rose, propaganda broadcast affects US morale. Alter, what is it, minus one or plus one for the next turn, 50-50 chance either. That, that's not, I think, that big of a deal actually because we're not really attacking anywhere. So I guess there's a 50-50 chance that Tokyo Rose either works or it doesn't work. Bad press. We publish, uh, reporters publish stories about heavy losses in combat. All USA land units suffer minus one morale this turn. Oof. We got to use that one? Okay. Well, this is a good turn to get that because I don't think there's going to be a ton of combat. There's just going to be that probably that one battle on that island there. So not a good card for us, though. Only one kind of allotment of naval gunfire support. Ah, what's going on there? Not our best turn here, but... We have made the 28th of July. I think this is the last turn on the 28th of July. This, I think, is a good place for us to stop. We've got about half the island, and we're about halfway through our turns, but this part down here is going to be a bear to crack, and I think we are well behind schedule, and we've lost a lot of battalions. Um, I don't, to be fair, I don't think it's looking very good for our U.S. Marines and Tinian. I mean, we're going to take the island, but I don't feel like we're going to win. I think we, we got to do better. Those last two turns were good for us, but let me know what you think. We'll be back for episode three shortly. See if we can do better. I'm hopefully maybe one or two more episodes to see if we can capture the island and pull off the victory. Our victory points now 24 to 15, but still a lot of wood to chop and tough resistance down here with a lot of victory points that we have to take in order to be win to win the to win the campaign. We'll see you in our next episode. I'll put a link to it as soon as it's ready. Thanks so much for watching, for tuning, everybody.